before going to draw the actual shear force and bending moment diagram, you should know some important points. So I have summarized all these important points in the table here. So first one is the relationship between bending moment and uh, shear force diagram. That is the relation is uh, derivative of bending moment will get the shear force. That means the bending moment diagram will be always one degree higher than the shear force diagram. It means that if we have a uh, linear variation in shear force diagram for a particular load, that means in, in the case of UDL, the variation of shear force diagram is linear and the, then the bending moment variation will be parabolic. And if we have a parabolic variation in shear force diagram, we'll have a cubic variation in bending moment diagram. So I have summarized all these details here. If there is no load between two points, the shear force variation will be constant and the bending moment variation will be linear. And if there is a UDL, uniformly distributed load acting between two points, the variation will be, uh, variation in shear force diagram will be linear and on the other hand in bending moment diagram the variation will be parabolic. And if we have a UVL, that is a uniformly varying load, the variation in shear force diagram will be parabolic. Okay. And in the case of bending moment diagram, the variation will be cubic. So you have to uh, know all these things. And uh, one more thing to be noted is at a point load, at a point load or a concentrated load, uh, there will be a sudden change, a vertical shift, a vertical shift in the case of a uh, shear force diagram. That, that's what I have noted here. At the point load, we'll have a sudden change or vertical shift it may be upward or downward, it depends on the direction of the load, okay? And in the case of an external moment, at an external moment, external moment, there is no change in shear force diagram, but there will be a sudden change in uh, bending moment diagram because there is an external moment. So it will create a sudden change in the bending moment diagram, okay? A vertical shift, a vertical shift that may be upward or upward or downward it depends on whether the moment is external moment is clockwise or anti-clockwise okay and some other points to be noted is bending moment is maximum when shear force is zero so in some problems we have to find the maximum value of bending moment and where is the uh, maximum bending moment is acting so in such case what you have to do we have to equate the we have to find the equation for uh, shear force there and we have to equate the shear force equation equal to zero then we can find the value of x from there okay so this point is very important and third one is point of contraflexure what do you mean by point of contraflexure point of contraflexure means it is a point at which the bending moment changes its sign that means uh, if if the bending moment is changing from positive side to negative side or negative side to positive side that particular point is known as point of contraflexure. Okay. And lastly, we should know the sign conventions. If you know the sign conventions only, you can draw the shear force and bending moment diagrams. The sign convention in the case of shear force diagram is this. That means left upward is positive or right downward is also positive. Left upward or right downward, both are positive. On the other hand, right upward or left downward is negative in the case of shear force diagram, okay? And in the case of uh, bending moment, all moments which are creating a sagging moment, that means if you're trying to bend the beam like this, sag the beam, okay? That moment is positive. And on the other hand, if you try to hog the moment, uh, that moment is negative. That means if we have a, uh, from the left side if you have a clockwise moment and from the right side if you have a, an anti-clockwise moment that may be taken as positive on the other hand uh, from the left side and left side we have anti-clockwise moment and from the right side we have clockwise moment we can take it as negative because that will create a hawking moment so all these points are important you have to remember all these points before drawing shear force and bending moment diagram so in today's lecture, we have discussed all the prerequisites required for drawing shear force and bending moment diagrams. So if you found this lecture useful, consider subscribing my channel and click the bell icon for getting further updates. In next lectures, we'll be doing examples 
of shear force and bending moment diagram. Till then, stay tuned.